look about it. Kimby Brown live in Folsom finding out more. Hey, Kimby. Good morning. So Lindsay is a sophomore at Folsom High. They don't even start until 8 o'clock this morning. So thank you so much for getting up so early for us. I know that is difficult with high school students. This is her dad, Richard, and Richard's seen eye dog, Klinger. So nobody knows this better than about what you need to know about seeing eye dogs than Lindsay because she sees it with her dad all the time. Let me show you the PSA that she created. Please don't touch him. He's a guide dog. What is he wearing? Well, that's his harness. Those are his superhero clothes. What is his superpower? Oh, well, I'm blind. I can't see, so he helps me get around and so I don't run into obstacles. Sorry. Come on, hon. It's time to go to school. When you see a guide dog wearing a harness, this means they are working, and you should not talk, pet, or distract them in any way. When people interact with a guide dog, they are unknowingly training the dog to look for people while in public, when the guide dog needs to ignore people so they can safely negotiate obstacles and traffic. What did you do to your dog? I made him superhero clothes. It's called a harness. It helps people that are blind to get around safely. Now, people often ask, does Klinger get some downtime? You're getting the chance to actually see his downtime. When he's home, it's okay to pet him and treat him like a normal dog, right? Yeah, he can do everything except eat off the floor or eat human food. Okay. <laughs> but when he's out in public with your dad, you obviously notice that people, they see a dog in the grocery store or at a restaurant, and they want to come and say hi to the dog. What typically happens? So usually you can see in their eyes from several feet away that they're coming for the dog. <laughs> and so they come and they usually either pet or some of them just make noises towards the dog or they'll talk to him and all of that is actually distracting. So even if he's laying on the ground, he is still working. Why is this so important that people know this, Richard, so that they're not coming and, and petting Klinger without making sure that it's okay first? Well, you know, Klinger, uh, if he's distracted by people and he's he loves people, and well, so you that can tell. yeah, so so that if we're if we're out in public and he's always just looking for the next person to pet him or talk to him, then he's not going to be directing his attention towards me when we're crossing streets or avoiding obstacles. And you know, so if he's looking for people, it can certainly be an unsafe sort of situation for me. Yeah, how proud were you when you uh, heard that Lindsay was going to do this public service announcement? Lindsay has a huge heart for people with disabilities and it's a way that she can use her special talents to make a difference in the world and uh, you know people are checking out her video today and then also online all over the country so it's uh, fantastic. And make sure that you know it's not just a vest that they could be wearing but the harness as well. Pay attention guys when you're out. Right? Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Yeah, it's right. good to remember. You do. They're so beautiful. You I do know. want to pet them, but uh, yeah, don't do it. Thanks, Campy.